in one of your pillars you also talk about letting life flow through you and normally we are in that rush to use our will power to force ourselves to force others to force a result or force a situation so can you elaborate on that what does it even mean to let life flow through you a lot of people feel like acceptance means that we're given up something Carl Rogers a famous psychologist says the curious paradox is that when I accept things when I accept myself then I can change and acceptance is in the same camp of awareness it doesn't mean I don't want to change it it just means I acknowledge what is I find that we spend a lot of ourself time resisting things that we can't do anything about actions that come up events that come up we get so tied up in them we resist them if we accept them then we can do more with them and we're not resisting and everything is michael singer in a book untethered soul talks about thorns everything comes in and is personal hits me most things aren't personal people we're so worried about ourselves we know we're not usually out trying to get somebody else it's, but we take those actions as personal so it's a matter of not taking it personal accepting what the situation is and let the pandemic the tsunami just take the worst thing. I mean, it's like the weather is like, oh my God, it's raining again today. Like it's a personal affront that it's raining when I'm on my golf day. It's just raining. You know, find something to do in the rain <laughs> or learn to like to play golf in the rain or whatever it is. But letting life flow through me is to stop resisting things that I can't do anything about. If I can do something about it, do it. But there's so many things. And also, I think the only one I can really change is me. That's... I can change myself and then my perception of the world changes, but I spend a lot of time trying to, I come up with actions that are my anger, my resistance, my words is trying to change somebody. And usually it's not very effective and it has a bigger impact on ourselves than it does on the others. So letting a life flow through me is accepting it, accepting life circumstances, accepting the diseases and the Poverty and the, not that I don't, I want to do something about all those things. If I can, I do it. And if I can, accept it and move on. Yeah. Yeah. And let's, let me ask you something very practical, right? So now you are not just living this, but you're also teaching, you're also helping others leaders get better at this. And when you are in a workshop, there is a promise of, of an outcome. There is something which you have promised or which the other person is there to see. And yet when you face their resistance, because uh, they are coming from a different world. They are coming yeah. from a habit. Right? Mm -hmm. They face resistance and you're trying to show them something new. How do you deal with that resistance for yourself? How do you allow life to flow through you when you're delivering something which you have promised, but you're facing resistance from the other person? You accept. You accept that resistance is a part of life. It's a part of most people's lives. And don't, I don't want to resist their resistance. What you resist persists. So if I can be a softer space, an open space for their resistance, a lot of times it'll subside. And the other thing is, as a coach, you're just putting a mirror up to somebody and saying, you occur to me like you're resisting. What are you resisting? Is there something there that you're not willing to accept? Because once you accept, things start changing. <laughs> yeah. But if I'm resisting it, Boy, it just gets that loggerhead. So mm. I don't want to resist somebody else that is, that I'm hoping to, I can't change anybody. I can give them the environment. I can give them the information and the environment and then see what happens with them. But I can't change anybody. Mm. So right. I don't try to. And how does that balance with uh, being responsible for results, right? Because as business leaders, we are responsible yeah. for a lot of outcomes. So how do you let go of that resistance, which we feel? yet continue to, let's say, take some bold actions or continue to be innovative and actually be responsible for an outcome. Yeah. Let's just stop blaming, stop pointing, having excuses and blaming others and whatnot and just being responsible. It's taking ownership for the results even. Doesn't mean that it was your fault or whether it's good or bad, whatnot. It's just saying I'm causing the matter of having this happen and I'm not blaming the stock market, I'm not blaming the interest rates, I'm not all that kind of stuff. I'm just saying, no, here's where we are. Those are all factors that I accept and I'm moving forward. We stop putting out on everybody else that it's not happening because my sales team is not motivated, because my suppliers can't get stuff to me. 
whatever. We just say, no, I've got to find a way. I'm causing the matter. All those things happen in their life, but being responsible means I'm the one that's responsible to get this over the goal line. No matter what, who comes up and tries to tackle me, I'm responsible for getting over the goal line. And that's the difference to me. There are things when I, but if I accept them, if I can't change it, or if I can change it, I change it. And if I can't, I need to accept it and move on and make the best of that and come up with a result. That's my job as a leader to have results, not yeah. excuses. My, the, why it didn't happen. My job is to make it happen, to cause it to happen. Yeah. Yeah. And what I'm listening to is like responsibility, but with freedom, without blame or without seeing it yeah. as a burden which allows you to be free with responsibility rather than be heavy with responsibility. And I think a key aspect of that, in which you also shared in your book, was to detach from reserves, yet be very committed yeah. to yeah. showing up and taking action. 